coming to the next discussion which is called as the power torque relationship of a dc motor <coughs> so what is your power We will be having some idea about the power torque relations right now. We know when the starting, we know that EB, which is the back end of EB, is equal to phi Z and uh, P by 60A. Phi Z and P by 60A. We know this formula since we have started with the uh, DC machines, the DC generator also it was EG, the generated EMF we have in DC motor it is the back EMF EB. So now coming to the power drawn from the source in a DC machine. First of all, when I make a DC machine here, In these two terminals, I am giving some power, suppose Pa is a voltage and due to this a current Ia is flowing into it and I am getting some power here or the torque actually here in the mechanical room. So when I talk about the power drawn from the source, I can say that Pa which is power drawn from the source, PA is equal to the voltage and the current, PA into I. But this, but this PA is equal to, from the formula we know that uh, VT is, is equal to, uh, or EG is equal to, or uh, you are, well, we have seen that formula. Ea is equal to Eb minus Ia Ra. We know this formula. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Eb plus Ia Ra. This is the voltage which we are giving, and back EMF is getting generated plus Ia Ra drop so i'll be getting the total voltage so this ea exactly is eb plus iara so i can have this ea as eb plus of ia ra drop multiplied by my ia okay by opening the bracket, I can understand that EB into IA will come over here plus of IA square multiplied by RA, which is equal to power drawn from the source. So, by looking at this thing, I can easily say that this EB into IA is exactly the This EB into IA is exactly the mechanical power which is reaching to the shaft. So I got the mechanical power. So what is this I square RA? This is the heat loss. So your losses plus your mechanical power is the electrical input to the motor. So, I got one more very important relationship that is Pm, mechanical power developed is equal to Eb into Ia, Eb into Ia. Uh, from elementary classes and from other uh, power top relationship, we know another formula 
which is called as power P is equal to torque generated into omega, where the torque generator Tg is in newton meters and omega is the revolution um, per second of the rotor. So this Tg is exactly in newton meters and this omega is the speed actually in uh, revolution per second. R E S. So the revolution per second, I can write this as two pi n. When I am converting it to uh, RPM, two pi n by sixty. For converting omega to uh, your omega which is given in rps revolution per second to rpm i have to multiply it by 2 pi and divide it by 16 so i'll be getting it as a revolution per minute rpm multiplied by my tg so i can write here nt into t into g so this is the power p Again, M mechanical. This is the power mechanical again. So I got two things. Pm is equal to E into I in, and Pm is also equal to two pi and Tg upon sixty. So equating those two, what I get, we'll see, is equal to E B into I A. I'll remove this thing right now for sake. But now E B was again. What P5 Zn by 60. So I can write my 2 pi and T G upon 60 is equal to Eb is my 5 P and Z by 60 A P5 by 60. Suppose now no, no endings are involved into I A. So almost everything is there. 60 is getting cancelled. Speed is also getting constant. And so my 2 pi Tg is equals to 5 Z P into I A. Where I can see that this pz and 2 pi are constant. So I can write Tg as Tg is equal to pz by 2 pi into phi into i a. And this pz into phi is nothing but the k, which is a constant. So I got Tg as k phi i a so it means the torque generated it means after having so much of discussion i can have that torque generated is directly proportional to k phi i a which is if i am having this k torque is directly proportional to phi i a here or I can say that torque is equals to k phi i a k is the constant k which k stands for pz upon 2 pi into phi a. So generated torque is directly proportional to phi into i a means generated torque is uh, uh, when the phi, my flux is increasing, my torque is also increasing. When my current, in, current is increasing, my torque is also increasing at that point. This is a very important point. So I will again write this thing. P is equal to, will have torque is directly proportional to phi into I A over here. This is an important relationship. So rather than putting it here, I will write it here, 
I'll remove this discrotus and I'll write another formula which is torque is directly proportional to pi into I A. We will be remembering this thing for many times. We will be discussing this thing uh, in a short while. Again, coming to the same, I can have uh, since in the previous uh, 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 this one thing when when I was talking about E B is equals to phi z and P by sixty e, I can have one more thing which is called as E B is equals to phi z and P by sixty. And I am talking about this again. I can remove this n by uh, since n is equal to 2 pi by 16, 2 pi omega by 16, or, or I can say 2 pi n is equal to omega. Sorry, I uh, forgot the previous thing. So I can write n is equal to. 60 into omega by 2 pi. Here I can write 60 into omega upon 2 pi as n. Here. So the 60 60 will get, get cancelled out. This 60 and 60 will get cancelled out. And I'll be left with phi z omega p upon 2 pi and according to this k is equals to pz is pz upon 2 pi I can have a relationship which is known as phi pz by 2 pi is a constant k phi omega e b my e b which is back in is directly proportional to phi into omega so I can write here this is an, again an important uh, relationship I will write here. Eb is directly proportional to my phi into omega which is the speed which we have seen in the previous this one also that Eb was equal Eb was directly proportional to the speed when the flux was constant. So now uh, when I am talking about the flux is not constant at that point uh, Eb is directly proportional to Flux into pi into omega <coughs> or EB is equal to k pi omega k is here pz upon 2 pi. <coughs> now I can have one thing <coughs> according to formula p is equal to which we have uh, taken out p is equal to uh, sorry p's power is equal to k in, uh, into uh, your uh, phi, uh, sorry, your pg into n, and that is omega. So, there are two possibilities, one is uh, constant power type types and constant torque type types. We will be looking that in a short moment, but before that, I uh, will have this figure out again, where this tg is actually K phi i a and this e b which is getting generated over here is which is getting generated over here e b is equals to k phi omega. So just looking at this thing that K phi is the middle constant, and when I talk about torque, torque is K phi I A, which is here in the electrical domain. This is your mechanical domain, and this is your electrical domain, and they are linked by your K phi. And now, omega. I will write here uh, 
I can write sorry in this in this way also I can write db I a I can write this way as dt omega. So I can say that E B is equals to E B is equals to K phi omega and torque is equals to K phi I a. I can write in this way also. So torque is proportional to I current and the E B is proportional to omega. So in this way, um, I am having a, a mathematical model now which is saying that uh, mechanical thing is uh, actually dependent upon the electrical thing and, and uh, electrical thing EB is dependent upon a mechanical thing which is omega the speed with a medium which is as a magnetic medium. So I am having three mediums over here one is mechanical medium another is the magnetic medium K5 this is the magnetic medium K5 which is in between these two and after passing through my magnetic medium I am having an electrical medium E. So we had uh, two things which are very important that is phi and uh, phi I A omega T E B these are very important figures we will be discussing those now.